When I think about my childhood, on the corner of my street, we had a great big cherry blossom tree. And I've always thought of those images. And I like to think that even high level CEOs sitting somewhere in some office have this and they think about their childhood and they think, oh yeah, there was that rainforest. And I would describe nature-based solutions as basically a return because I think we all have this innate caring for nature. That's what we all have to go back to. Nature-based solutions, it's not actually describing something new. It's describing making use of the services that nature provides us to help address climate change. What we see now is I think the realization that all the warnings from the scientists are becoming reality, but we all have also to see the opportunity of tackling climate change, also in terms of green jobs, doing things in a slightly different way. And now it's time for everybody in the world to think about nature-based solutions. They are a good ground to grow and scale. When you think about agriculture, it's probably the biggest opportunity that we have for addressing climate change. It's right beneath our feet, it's on the ground, it's everywhere not only for carbon, but also for sustainable development. It's a huge opportunity. We need models and instruments that help demystify some of this, help reduce perceived risk, and the use of nature-based solutions become much clearer. And we're seeing a lot of appetite from particularly the multilateral financial institutions to help with that. Tempo de actuar. It is five minutes to midnight in the global climate emergency. In short, we need to make national commitments more ambitious in sectors such as nature-based solutions. The Paris Agreement is built on nationally determined contributions, NDCs. And if countries are looking into their climate contributions, they must talk to the farmers, they must talk to the food sector and factor that in. And I believe agriculture must be centerpiece of the NDCs. So now we have this upcoming UN decade on ecosystem restoration. And we call it the most important decade of the century, which is until 2030, we've got to do something about climate action, but we've also got to create the world that we want. I think the landscape approach is one great opportunity going forward with nature-based solutions. So you have to look across all spheres and say agriculture, forestry, local economy, rural development, food industry, so that you actually are able to work with the whole system and not one piece. And then let's work with Earth and not against it.